Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video, I'm fairly briefly going to go through how to attach components to an already existing rigid body. So what we want is when we roll over these cubes, we attach them to the ball here, and uh, it's going to have an effect on the rigid body as well. Uh, I'm also later on going to go into how you want to align it with the surface in case you're interested in this as well. So it's actually fairly simple. Uh, it's from a previous tutorial of mine where we've already set up a ball controller that you can control with WSD keys. It has a sphere collider and a rigid body component on it. That's pretty much all of interest there. And I've just set up a bunch of test cubes. As you can see, they are just that, test cubes. I've given them the tag of test cube and they just hold the box collider. I've scaled them way down as well. And so let's get right into it. So first of all, we're going to set up a new script and I'm just going to call it attached to rigid body and I'm going to attach it to the ball or the player and I'm going to open the script. Now in the script, we just want a public string, which is going to be our tag to add. This is the tag that I add to the cubes. So if I go now here to the cubes, you can see that I've added a tag called test cube. Now we want an on collision enter uh, check. Instead of collision, I'm going to write other. I just personally like that because it makes sense. It's the other object that you're colliding with. So first of all, we got to check if the other object is the one that we want to uh, manipulate. So we're going to do a other.transform.compare tag and then the tag to add like so. And that's basically our whole check. Now in here, we're going to do other.transform.setParent equals to our transform. So this means we're setting the parent of this object that we're hitting to the ball. And now this should actually just work to begin with. So let's go to our ball and set the tag which, that I've just given to test cube, for example. And let's try and roll around into these. And boom, as you can see, we're now picking up these cubes and adding them to our ball. Now, if you want to take your code a step further and instead of having it attached to the ball uh, like so, where it can actually attach with a corner. We can actually maybe instead have it align so it lines up with the player like so. So it actually lands on him smoothly with the face outwards. In order to do this, we need a few more things. First of all, we need to know which uh, layer mask our player is already on. So I'm just going to call it the ball layer. And we also need an integer of this layer. So I'm just going to call this the player layer instead. But you could also just call it ball layer int or whatever you want. Now in here, first of all, we want to make sure that when we hit the other thing and we set ourselves to be the parent, we also want to set the layer of the object immediately. So we're just going to say layer equals to the player layer that we set. So the next thing that we need is we need to know exactly when our ball hits a cube. We need to know exactly where does it hit on the ball. So for this, we're going to be using a raycast hit that we're just going to call hit. And we're going to say if physics.raycast. And then it's going to be from the other.transform.position. And it's going to be in the direction of uh, the cube towards the player or towards the ball. So the way that we get that direction is transform.position minus the other.transform.position. And then we're going to normalize this so we just have a clean direction. Then we're going to output this to hit. We want to do this with math, math f.infinity because we don't need to have any certain given distance. We could also just write a large number in here. And we're going to do the ball layer so we make sure that we are hitting our player. Now what we're going to do from here is first of all, we're going to set the direction that the cube is looking in. So that means we can set the forward direction to be equals to the hit.normal. Now, if you don't know vector maths, it's fairly simple. The normal is just, um, let's say right now that we're raycasting from this cube to the ball. Now, the point on the ball, which this raycast hits, has a direction. So, for example, let's say it's right here, it will shoot out towards the cube here. And that's the direction that we want the cube to be facing outwards. And that's exactly what we're setting here. Now, we also want the other.transform.position to be equals to the point that we hit. And now we actually want to offset this a little bit because we don't want the cube to be sitting inside of the ball. We want it to be sitting out on the surface. And now this is where it gets a little bit tricky if you are using custom assets. So keep this in mind. Right now, when a cube is one, 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 it is exactly one unit, one unity unit wide and one unity unit uh, long and height. But so that means when we're setting it to 0.2, it's very easy to see that this is 0.2 of one unity unit. And that's why the next calculations I'm going to do, if you're using custom assets, you're going to need different uh, equations here. But I'm going to set the position once again, because now we have this new position. And I'm going to set this equals to the other.transform.position plus, and this is where we want the other.transform.forward. And we actually want to apply the current scale to that. 
Um, and in our case, since we're making it face outwards with this one up here, we can do it to the set uh, scale. And then we're just going to times that by half because, well, we want to move it out. So what you've got to think about is the center of the cube is actually going to be sitting inside of the ball. And so if we moved it one full cube length out, it's actually going to be sitting half a cube out. So we just want to move it that half out that it's going to be inside. And I just need to set this to a flow. And this should actually work. Now it should align it to the surface correctly as well. Uh, let's just go back to the ball really quickly. And as you can see, I've set the player up here. That's layer six. So we're going to set player layer six and we're going to set the player layer here as well. And now this should just work. And as you can see, now the cubes are aligning to the ball correctly. There we go. So I hope this was helpful. This is something I found really interesting that the rigid body system could just do this. So just because all these cubes have colliders, it automatically just adds it to the rigid body physics in here. And I think this is something really interesting. So let's say that you had like a snowball that you might want to expand upon while it's rolling and eating stuff. Uh, you could do it like this. So hopefully you liked the video and I really just hope that you have a wonderful day.